Right, welcome to this video, boys and girls. Um, this one's slightly different, and a little bit more interesting, uh, because we we're going to be working on something called macros. So make sure you got section six fifteen. Sorry, sixteen. We changed this, um, and we're looking at macros now. Macros is basically a way, <coughs> excuse me, a way of recording steps that you take. Um, to make it easier for someone else. So, for example, so if someone said, uh, "Hey, for example, I'm on my sales by month page, and you can see there's a, I've got a chart there, a graph uh, linked to this table over here, this pivot table." Someone might say, "Actually, I don't want it to be as a column bar chart. Bar chart. I want it to be a pie chart, and vice versa." Then what we would typically do is we'd click on it, then we'd go to design, and we would then change the. That's the type of chart by coming onto this uh, this window here and then selecting up what we want to press, press and OK. But not everyone knows how's, how to do that. So what we're going to do is basically, in essence, we're going to create a button that does all of that for you. And the way you do that is basically recording you doing it once and then assigning a button um, to that macros, which is that step of, uh, so there was a, those steps that have just, have just been recorded now this will make a little bit more sense when you actually see in practice so let's have a start let's have a go um so first things first we're going to click away from the graph and just click anywhere here and we're going to go to view macro here click on the arrow and go to record now with this one's going to go from you can see it's a, it's a bar chart right now a column chart we're going to go to a pie chart so we're going to say change to pie chart press ok and now it's recording. Now you can't tell, but it is. I'm gonna put this down. Now I've had this is the second time, so the third time I'm recording this video because it's crashed on me twice. I'm not sure why, so I'm hoping it doesn't do that. So let's let's give it a go. Hopefully it'll work first time. Um so it's now recording everything. It doesn't record my movement as as I am going round in circles. It's just gonna remember what to click on. So first thing I need to do is click the chart so it knows I need it selected. And then we're gonna to go to design. Then we're going to go to change chart chart type. Sorry, I'm really strong with, struggling with my words today. We're going to go to pie, and you're going to just click on that and press OK. That's it. Keep it simple. Now that's done. We're going to click away. I'm going to go to view macros. Stop recording. Done. Now before I do anything else, I want to save this. Now, so far. We've not used macros, so we've not had to save this in any different way. But because this is a macro now, we need to make sure that this is saved in a, in a macros format. So we're going to go to File, and we're going to go to Save As, and uh, Find Your Folder. So I'm going to go and find mine. So that's my folder. Um, should make sure it's just got the correct name. And we're going to go into this list here and then go to this one here. Can you see it says Excel macro enabled worksheet, meaning it will allow macros to work. So click on that, press save. Now hopefully this saves and then I don't have to do all of that again. So it will keep that recording in the background. Perfect. Now, how do I get a button? It's a simple case of getting a shape. So go to insert, shape. I typically like going for the uh, rounded rectangles, but you can go for a, a simple straight angled, uh, right angled rectangle if you want to. I'm going to go for this one. And I'm going to draw a rectangle. Uh, I'm going to type in something that makes sense. So I'm going to say change to pi chart. Um, we're going to click on the edge. Let's change the way it looks. So I'm going to go to format. And if you go here, if you want to be a bit more fancy, you can choose a style that makes it look like a button. I believe there's one here that's got like a uh, 3D style. There it is. Click on that. Now, if you want to change the color, you can do so. Since everything I've done is red and white, so I'm going to go for red here. And I'm going to put bold font uh, with white writing. Yep, that's perfect. And put it in the middle and in the middle. And then I'm going to drag it in so it's the right size there we go and now when I click on it it doesn't do anything yeah because I've not assigned the macros that I've just recorded so I'm gonna click on it by using the right uh, click ma uh, button on the mouse so right click and you'll see there's a little uh, uh, option there that says assign macro so we're gonna click on that 
And because we've only made one, you click on you click on that one. Now, if you eventually going to have a few, <coughs> depending on how many buttons you want to make, so you make sure you click the correct one. Once you click, you press OK, and then I can move this around if I want to. Now, I'm going to move it over here just because, like I said, I'm, I've done this a couple of times now, uh, and I know that it needs to be over here. For you, you'll see why in a moment. So, I'm going to leave that there. And at the moment, you can't tell any difference because it's already on here um, as a pie chart. So if I click on here and just change it to something else, it's just for the sake of testing it. I'm going to click on chart type, click on column, and press OK. Now, if I test it now, it should hopefully work. Can you see how the cursor changes to a plus sign? Oh, sorry, a, a hand. Click on that. There you go, it's worked. Perfect. Now, the only thing you need to do is create another one that changes it back to a, a bar chart. Um, my advice is right click on this, copy, and paste using source, there we go. Drag it in here, you're gonna go inside and you just put down what you're gonna change it to, so bar chart. And the difference now is that we have to do the recording again. So click away, view, macros record and we're going to call it change to bar chart or column chart wherever it might be press ok it's recording click on the chart do exactly what you would normally do so change the chart type select the one that you want there it is press ok and then click away and then we're going to go to view macros stop recording done and now we right click on the bar chart one and assign it and we know we want that to be bar chart press ok now if I click away I'm gonna save it just so that we don't lose anything there we go and now if I click on that it changes between the two chart types so what you need to do is you're gonna screenshot this before and after so there's a part bar chart and pie chart and you're going to put it into here explaining what, what a macro is how your how you think is going to be useful for the, the the end user of your dashboard explaining how they can decide what type of chart that you want from the click of a button and how it can be useful for, for example some people will say this is easier on the eyes it just makes more sense to see which one's doing better but because of how small the difference between these these four months are a bar chart shows the difference a little bit easier can you see yeah so by having both, it allows more flexibility for the end user to decide what they want. Okay, so make sure you screenshot that, explain the difference, right click and make sure you put comments in there as well. Uh, and then use this tool to do as many as you want in the other areas, the other charts that you may have. Okay, good luck.